Uncle Harris's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm releasing the PC Engine Classic Edition for Windows PC. Uh, this is a nice little build that everyone can enjoy. I previously re released the TurboGrafx-16 Classic Edition for PC. So I wanted to get this one out there. Um, number one, few people asked for it. And number two, it's a bunch of games I've never experienced, so I can't wait to enjoy them. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We can get rock and rolling. You guys can enjoy this build. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description and download the text file. Uh, you won't have any zip files or this folder yet, just the text file, the PC Engine Classic Edition link.txt. We're going to want to open up that text file, highlight the contents just like so, right click, copy, and then go ahead and paste that into your web browser and that will download these four 7-zip files. Uh, it's coming in at just over 2 gigabytes zipped up, so 2.09 gigabytes when it's zipped. And we can right click on the 001 with WinRAR extract here with 7-zip extract here. Once it's extracted, you'll have the PC Engine Classic Edition folder. And it is weighing in at 2.61 gigabytes. So we're going to want to take this folder, we can right click, you can cut or copy, um, I'm going to cut, paste it in the root of your H drive. So paste that into the root of H, there we go. And then let's open up the folder. And the first thing we want to do is do our input in RetroArch. So we're going to open up RetroArch, scroll down, RetroArch.exe, launch it up. Um, as of this recording, the latest version of RetroArch is 1.7.5. And we want to go from the first menu over to the cogwheels here, go down to input. And we want to go to input hotkey binds. And let's press up and start at the bottom. So for enable hotkeys, I'm going to use my select button or my back button on my 360 controller. So I'm going to press enter, I'm going to press back, and then on quit retro arch, I'm going to use down on my d-pad. So I'm going to press enter, press down on my d-pad, there we go. So that's it for that. Um, if you want to be able to toggle back and forth while you're in game, I use my left and right thumbstick as buttons, so my L3 and R3, but you can set it up with L1, R1, start, select, just start and select, L3, R, L and R, none, down, L1, R1, 1. I like to use my thumbsticks. I'm using a 360 controller, so I'm going to have L3 plus R3, and I'm going to keep that the same. So we want to go back, and we want to go down to quit retroarch. Press enter. Now we're going to launch the PC Engine Classic Edition.exe. And here it is. So I'm just going to let the screen roll in. Basically, it's a photo of the PC Engine console with the logo coming in from the right. I thought this was a nice, clean look. Um, you can see that. A two-player game says two players, one player says one player, and I mean the list goes on and on and on. I believe it's once we get to Bomberman is where you'll see if you have like four plus players, so on and so forth. Yeah, see there, so five players, five players. Um, there was a Bomberman and a Bomberman user's battle, so Bomberman 93, 94. So I went ahead and included as many games as possible. Um, if we press down, you're going to have game information and video snaps for each and every game. Okay. But let's go ahead and set up our controller. Right now, we're just using keyboard. So we're going to press tab on our keyboard. We're going to go up to controls. Press enter. We're going to go up to back. Now, if you have any inputs already that say Joy 1 or anything like that, just remove input. 
and then go in the add input press enter and I like to use the Y button on my 360 controller as my back button so I'm going to press enter and I'm going to press Y if I press Y I'll back up now we're going to do our D-pad so again if you have anything Joy want in any of these buttons just remove input by pressing enter keep the keyboard um, inputs so add input I'll press up I'll press Y to go back I'm going to do the same thing for down add input press enter and press down And then we'll do it for left. Right. And select is actually going to be our start button. So we're going to remove, add input, start. Now we can control everything with our keyboard. We have our back button, we have our select button, which is our start button to choose things. Uh, the next thing we want to do is go down to custom one. So come all the way down to custom one. We can press start. Remove input joy one button one. Yep. And I'm going to use the B button on my controller. So I'll add input, press start, press B. And we'll back up. Uh, custom two, we're going to use the A button on our 360 controller if that's what you're using. So I'm going to remove the joy one, add input, press start, and I'll press A. And then for custom three, we're actually going to use our back button which or our select button um, if you're using a different controller so add input I'm gonna press select okay so that's it for that let's go back to the main menu so here's where we can see if you want to go up you can go to systems and we only have one system so we don't have to worry about that uh, to config we can press the back button or our select button it'll take us to the config menu or we can press are back to return. Uh, as far as filters, this is going to take you if you add any favorites. So right now, if I were to click it, I don't have any favorites, just stays the same. If you want to add favorites, just go to a game and press your select button or your back button if you're using a 360 controller. So added to favorites, full fight, added to favorites. Now if we go to filters and press A, we have our two games and favorites. And if you press select on them again, it'll remove them. So I'll just go back to all. Uh, for the mini snap, if we press B, we get a mini snap popping up. And as we scroll through, the mini snap will stay there. And if you want it to go away, just go back up to mini snap, press B. Poof, it's gone. Uh, as far as manuals, if we press select on manuals, I have included a website that has manuals there and if we press B it'll take us back to the main menu and if you want to launch a game let's do City Hunter I'll just press start so I press start to launch a game and it's gonna load up in RetroArch and there we go the game has launched. There we go. So if I want to go into the RetroArch menu for any reason, remember we did L3 and R3 if that's the combination you chose. And if I press those right now, I am in the RetroArch menu. But I'll just go to resume. Now we did select to do our hotkeys and then down was our exit. So if we press down, down's fine. If we hold select and press down, we're back to the main menu we can choose another game uh, one thing I do want to show you guys in the config if we press select uh, I have my screen muted right now but if we were to go to sound press start movie volume so if you want to hear the video snap volume in the background I have it set to zero uh, but you could turn it up and you can definitely hear the background music from so I'm just gonna turn it up to 50 and I'm going to unmute so that you guys can hear it. So I'm going to back up. So just like that, um, if you want to have it. Now I like to keep mine at zero and just have it as silent. So I'm going to go back to sound, 
movie volume I'll keep to zero and if you want to have some background music I've included that as well so we can come all the way down to ambient soundtrack and I've included the SNES classic menu music as well as the NES classic menu music so I'll, I'll put the NES classic on right now and I'll go back to the main menu and when we launch up we can have that music playing or you can do the SNES classic so whichever you choose whichever if you want it silent if you want the video sound to play if you want the SNES or NES classic it's all included there for you guys you can go ahead and set that up so this is the PC Engine Classic Edition PC release uh, I really appreciate you all watching so please have a good day